All right, all right. All right, folks, so we are trying to find a uh, we're trying to find a script that we can go along with for Spy from January 6, 2024. And uh, so we just open up the chart. We move it to the one minute time frame that gives me more multiple opportunities to take a trade instead of using the five minute time frame or something like that. So now we're just looking at the chart, trying to figure out what to use as far as the logic. Uh, here I'm saying that we see that red line. So we're over the 200 period moving average. We say that the low is under the um, under the yellow line. So it's under the 15 period moving average. And then we also want to say that the volume is less than the volume of the six period moving average and that we have a bearish candle or if we have a bullish candle, that candle has to be small. So it has to be have a range smaller than the seven period range of the candles. All right, just looking at it again, trying to see how we can filter out some more uh, erroneous data points. We want to say that the 15 period moving average is over the 25 period moving average. Again, the 15 is yellow. The green is the 25 period moving average. And then we want to find those, lar those long bears. So those long bearish candles, if they have a high volume, volume higher than the one before it, and it occurs within three bars or so prior to the candle um, that we're looking at, then we want to say that we don't want that. So that's what condition six is. We put that in and so we get things um, uh, narrowed down a lot more. So the time has got to be greater than 935 and less than uh, 350. That way we're not taking things so close to after hours. And then essentially we just want to use a trend line and find out what the uh, percentage is so we can find out what the risk to reward is. You see there we have about 0.4% for a reward, 0.09% for the risk. So now we put that into the script. We put it up there at stop loss and take profit. And then we can move that over to our strategy. So we'll just kind of copy and paste that into a strategy. When we do that, we can run a strategy optimization report. So as I get caught up here, you'll see that I'll run the strategy optimization report, which pretty much just tries to find the best fit for whatever you're looking for. So if you're trying to find the highest win rate, you can find it. If you're trying to find the highest number of trades, you can find it. If you're trying to find the highest um, profit factor, you can find it. So here you see I'm putting the data points in, run the strategy performance report, or excuse me, the strategy optimization report. Oh, and here I noticed that I do need to change the number or the max bars back setting to allow it to, um, to allow it just to pull up the 200 period moving average. If you don't have enough bars in your max bars back setting, you can't pull up. You can't pull up studies that utilizes the number of bars that it needs to utilize. So I got that corrected, and we're moving forward. Okay, so I think we finally get the performance report. As you can see here, it would have taken some trades for us, and um, there is the performance curve that we looked at initially. And I think I wasn't convinced, so I went back and I looked at it one more time. But you see there initially, we're at a 40% win rate. And um, I'm just rerunning the optimization report. I essentially get the same thing. So it it is what it is, and it's gonna be what it's gonna be. But uh, now we'll open up that performance report, and then we can find out, you know, you see I, I sorted it for the best profitability rate. Okay, so now we have a 57% win rate. It took about seven trades, um, and it had a profit factor of four. So a profit factor of four just shows that uh, for every risk of one, you have a reward of four. Okay, and profit factor of one to four, not bad. 57% um, win rate, not terrible, 0.3% gain. That was, I think that was based on like a $25,000 account. Uh, taking trades worth $20,000. I forget what it was. But uh, you see the trades that it took there. And then there's overall performance summary. So, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. But otherwise, trade smart.